making the right moral, ethical decision is really difficult sometimes, especially when we're confronted with two options, one of which seems to satisfy and serve and entice the ego-driven, excitement-pursuing, novelty-seeking part of ourselves. And that can be exciting and difficult to resist. On the other hand, sometimes there's a decision which is less exciting, less appealing, more difficult. We don't want to do it. Yet we know intuitively deep down inside what the right thing to do is. We know we should let go of the ego-driven, what's the word, Uh, immediate gratification choice or one that serves our materialistic or hedonistic desires while choosing the more difficult, straightforward, ethical, moral, beautified choice sits in front of us on the other hand. Now, this can be really difficult. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can go through that, how you can use some stoic wisdom to help guide you on that. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Starts With Me channel. We are reading from the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. This is July 2nd. I hope you find this helpful. July 2nd, on duty and circumstance. Never shrink the proper dispatch of your duty. No matter if you are freezing or hot, groggy or well-rested, vilified or praised, not even if dying or pressed by other demands. Even dying is one of the important assignments of life. And in this, as in all else, make the most of your resources to do well the duty at hand. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 6.2 Will this make me rich? Will people be impressed? How hard do I need to try? How long will this take? What's in it for me? Should I do this other thing instead? These are the questions we ask ourselves amid the day's opportunities and obligations. Marcus Aurelius had many responsibilities, as those who hold executive power do. He judged cases, heard appeals, sent troops into battle, appointed administrators, approved budgets. A lot rode on his choices and actions. Should he do this or that? What about this concern or that concern? When would he get to enjoy himself? The simpler reminder above was a way to cut through the Gordian knot of incentives, complaints, fears, and competing interests. It's what we must use to decide what to do in each and every phase of life. Morality can be complicated. But the right thing is usually clear and intuitive enough to feel in our gut. Our duty is rarely easy, but it is important. It's also usually the harder choice, but we must do it. Well, that kind of gets straight to the point. So what is a situation upon which you have these two competing choices? Or can you remember you wanted to leave work early, yet you know you had one more task that you were responsible for completing, but you wanted to leave uh, early to go watch the game or to go hang out with your friends or to do something exciting. And you had this moment of choice. It's in these moments where our character is developed, where our, uh, maybe that's the best way to say it, where our ethical way of being is in question. Obviously, there's different situations. The stakes can get higher. If you're a parent, perhaps you could go and read a book to your child at bedtime, yet your perhaps pleasure-seeking mind or emotions are trying to draw you to do something that's a little bit more self-serving. Maybe you want to go have a drink. Maybe you want to go scroll social media, play a video game, do something other than be with your child. Now, I'm not passing judgment, perhaps, on deciding to take time for yourself, although those are moments in which we have uh, a moral, if you will, a values-based decision. And depending on how present we are, how much practice we have, we may be pulled one way or the other. Can you think of any ethical choice points, if you will, where you are aware of this feeling in your gut that 
is pulling you towards the more ethical, the good decision. Yet all your impulses and hedonistic desires are yanking you in the other direction. Think about that. Can you write those things down? What might you need to remind yourself of to make the more good decision? For me, I can paint a simple picture of this being a recovering drug addict. In the past, all my decisions, for the most part, not all, many, were all in service of this hedonistic, pleasure-seeking, instant gratification monster inside of me. Now, it wasn't until I really got sober and learned through many similar practices to the Stoic wisdom how to let go of that part of myself and how to live in alignment with these better, more good, if you will, values to, to act in alignment with this idea of duty, to do the good thing, to do the right thing. I didn't really know. I think I knew what that meant philosophically, perhaps, or intellectually, but actually acting that out in the moment was not an option for me. Luckily, over the past 10 plus years, I've learned some skills. I've had some great uh, guides and teachers to help me on, along the way. I don't always do my best in these situations. Clearly, well, not clearly to you, but for me, I'm abstinent from, from drugs and alcohol and other mind and mood altering substances or behaviors. Nevertheless, it still can be difficult for me to make ethical decisions when my short-term gratification is uh, weighing heavily in the other direction. Anyhow, I hope you found that helpful. Share in the comment section. Like this video, please. Share it with someone you think might find it helpful. Subscribe to the channel, if you will. Support us on Patreon. I hope you found that helpful. I wish you all the best. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content. And otherwise, have a great day. Peace out.